Welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a look at flip-flop reversals as used by Nick Maxwell in the Dubai Masters 2023. First, we're going to break it down and then I'll show you how easy they really are. And we'll have a look at creating our own variations. So let's have a look at Nick flying the maneuver. Let's have another look, this time in slow-mo, and we'll break it down. The model enters in upright forwards flight, sweeps the tail underneath to go nose up, blades in, and then down to backwards upright. This is then reversed with a sweep of the tail underneath, to nose up, blades in again, and down to forward flight. He then repeats, tail under, to nose up, blades in, backwards, tail under, to nose up, blades in, and forwards. He does this two and a half times to come out backwards into his next maneuver. Now we can learn this maneuver in about 30 minutes and all we need is a simulator with a pyro trainer. If you don't know what a pyro trainer is, I put a link in the description below to a video that shows where to find it in each of the simulators. So there are basically three positions the helicopter reaches during this maneuver. Forwards, nose up blades in, and backwards. The way you get to each of these positions is easier than you think. The cyclic does most of the work and only uses diagonal stick positions. From here, I'm going to put the cyclic to the left down position. Then the cyclic is going left up. Let's do that again and watch the cyclic. Left down, left up. Now it needs a tiny bit of rudder to smooth it out and reach the positions perfectly and that can be tricky but with a few minutes of practice you should be able to figure it out. Now the reversal. Cyclic goes to the right down diagonal to get to the nose up position and then goes to the right up diagonal. So the complete maneuver on the cyclics is left down, left up, right down, right up. When you're practicing these, imagine where you want the helicopter to be. Then look at where the helicopter is and think about the stick inputs that will get us to the next step. This process is very important in the early stages. Once you've got the stick positions and you're hitting the three model positions nicely, you can start speeding it up. Then when you aren't making any mistakes, get out of the pyro trainer and start doing them in the sim. It will want to move around a bit so you can slow it down again. And once you get the hang of it, also start moving the model around. Reversing flip-flops use all four cyclic diagonals, but regular flip-flops just use two. In this example of regular flip-flops, you can see I'm going right up and right down with the cyclic. To make your own variations, you should practice all of the diagonals in the Pyro Trainer. You should be able to come up with a few flip-flop variations of your own, perhaps blades in, nose up, into blades in, nose down. We haven't even covered inverted flip-flops, but they can be learned just as easily, and you can also flip-flop between upright and inverted for some extra trickiness. In conclusion, a relatively easy maneuver to learn that can be done in lots of different ways and lots of different styles. Learning the orientations and stick movements will prepare you for other maneuvers such as nick tocks, which we will cover in a future episode. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications when we release new videos. Thanks for watching and good luck.